some people like to go fishing. Some people like to ride a bike. Some people make boats out of matches, but I like to um, stick things in a book. If I had to pin it down to a word, which I don't want to, but I will, it would be a hobby. I dreamt I was on stage performing with The Clash and playing the guitar very badly next to Paul Simonon. Went to the photographer's gallery and as I came out, a man said, good luck, as I passed. And I said thanks, but didn't know why he'd wish me luck or who he was. Secret spiritual guide or nutter? We'll never know. I like the idea of the randomness. It's almost like a, an iPod shuffle book. There are, there are current things. Or on each page I'll have a, a date and I'll write about what happened to me that day. And then there'll be maybe some bus tickets, some photos and some images related to that day. But there'll also be a lot of other stuff. Magazine cuttings from 1974, very important year. Doodles that I've done. Scraps of ideas, found photos, found drawings, found images. It's almost a splatter gun effect. Um, sometimes on the page, uh, everything is in a very, very kind of chaotic order. In one corner, somebody had been sick and it stayed on the ice for an hour before somebody cleaned it up. In the evening, went for a walk, fine evening light, felt contented. It's to do with, there's several reasons. I'm wanting to document my life wanting to put all the madness down in a easy to in in sort of bite-sized chunks if you like it's a, a cathartic process i have to get it all out and have to get it on paper and have to have it displayed not necessarily for myself uh, not necessarily for anyone really but it just has to has to be there it's more the process of doing it. I think my handwriting is uh, quite thin and spidery like myself and very difficult to read. I think I write quite fast and sometimes I thought maybe subconsciously I'm writing deliberately um, badly so that people can't read it but it could be just that I've got a withered hand and it comes out that way anyway. Went to the Apple Expo in Olympia and felt like I was trapped. Lots of Gareth Cheesemans doing demonstrations and telling awfully bad jokes with models trying to entice you onto stalls. I would welcome my logbooks to be archived and I can envisage a day where um, at some point I'd have two little men working for me who every day would tend my logbooks, um, glue back anything that was flapping out, if you'll pardon the expression, uh, sellotape pages that had come out because some of the older ones the the, the pages do tend to uh, fall out when you open them so they they uh, sort of generally uh, do a sort of a um, repair service for me they wouldn't actually add to the log books that would be a strict no no I'd have to punish them I don't think I'm ever going to find someone that does log books and I think my perfect partner needs to be someone that wants a seat all to themselves on a train, um, spread out their logbook that they've just bought, scatter bits of paper ephemera all over the, the seats and start cutting and gluing and sticking things on for hours. But I've never met anyone like that. It would be nice to think that in years to come, I'd be able to bore and horrify my grandchildren with them. That is my life. That's my life all summed up in, um, it's a plethora of images and words.